going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Job. I'm bringing you guys a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield video today. We're going to be covering a ton of new stuff, including a brand new trailer for the Nintendo Switch Lite that showcases some new footage from Pokemon Sword and Shield that we haven't seen before. I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different things, including Alchemy. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the new bird Pokemon thing. We're going to talk about some graphic updates and the Aflac leak, of course. So there's a lot of things in this video. I encourage you to check out the whole thing. There's some pretty cool stuff. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new for daily Pokemon content. Uh, the other day we got our first uh, kind of reveal after a little while and I think that there's probably something coming soon, I would hope. But we got Cramorant and the new Pokemon Poltegeist, which I thought were really neat. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of happens and what comes down and, and, and happens in the next kind of, I don't know, few weeks. Maybe we'll get middle evolutions. I feel like there was some big teasers for an evolution with them all hanging around the campfire. Pretty crazy stuff. But anyway, let's kind of jump into things here. Not waste any time. This new Nintendo Switch trailer came out, as I mentioned. And it does show some new footage. So I'm going to play it in slow speed. I'm going to pause, etc. So let's take a look at it. Um, I'm playing it slow so we can kind of actually look at the images because they move really quickly. So it is obviously a Nintendo Switch Lite trailer advertising the new Switch Lite. It's going to be um, kind of showing off some new scenes that we haven't seen before. Some of these that we've already seen before, but you can see the trainer showing out Score Bunny, the starters. They kind of zoom into them. There's Grookey, Sobble, Score Bunny, the starters again. Again, showing off the Switch Lite and how cool it's going to be. It does look really cool, I'm going to be honest. I just hate the fact that it can't be docked. More Pico, a little, uh, Galarian Zigzagoon, Duraludon right there. But there's a couple things I'm going to point out. Bam! Right there. Impidimp returns, my friends. Uh, we haven't seen much of Impidimp as of late, but it does indeed return. We can kind of kind of zoom in right there. You can see Impidimp does indeed return. Uh, it has yet to be revealed. It was shown in the demo uh, at the various events, and we haven't seen much of Impidimp, but it is right there. So we do know that Impidimp is going to be coming back, and uh, it still exists at least at this point in time. Uh, so that's pretty cool to note. One thing that uh, Sarah B. Joe actually posted on Twitter that I thought was very interesting, and uh, you kind of look at this scene right here, and we know about these kind of uh, red pillars and stuff like that, but there's definitely some pretty interesting kind of uh, clouds forming back here. Like, what is this purple cloud in the top corner? Could that have something to do with Dynamax? It could have something to do with Eternatus, kind of the Pokemon that we've been waiting to hear about. Uh, so some pretty interesting stuff there regarding that scene and kind of what's going down with uh, Gigantamaxing. And then we're actually going to see a brand new Dynamax that we have yet to see. Uh, right about there. So there is more Pico getting a uh, Dynamax form for the first time as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have yet to see more Pico get a Dynamax form. There's Tyranitar uh, kind of getting all linked up there for the Nintendo Switch Lite. And again, that's the new trailer for Nintendo Switch Lite. So a couple new things in there. Some scenes we hadn't seen before. Uh, the more Pico Dynamaxing, the Impotent making a return. And then ultimately that kind of purple cloud that we really haven't seen much of outside of the wild area. Let's take a look at some other things here. I posted this on Twitter yesterday. I found it on 4chan. And it was a graphic update. And you can see that there are some differences on these graphics. Uh, you can see right here the kind of the, the bush textures definitely are improved. There are some differences in the textures here and kind of where the different circles are. But you can also kind of see throughout some of the lighting and shading is slightly different. Um, and, the, the, you know, some slight differences in terms of textures. So they are improving upon the textures in the game. Um, this tweet uh, definitely blew up in terms of my standards. That's a lot of retweets. And there is a lot of discussions. Of course, I plugged my new video there. There's a lot of discussions here. A lot of people still not thrilled about the graphics and still bashing Game Freak and whatever else. And as much as I feel like people are entitled to their opinion, just just save it, dude. Just say, why do people just take the internet to just like trash on things? Like, it's so dumb. Just don't buy the game and move on with your life, man. You're exerting so much negative energy. Uh, what about the positive energy? So I'm going to be that positive influence. And I'm also going to throw a disclaimer out there. I am not endorsed, paid, or affiliated with Nintendo or Pokemon in any form. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Uh, I'm excited about this game. And, you know, the texture of a tree or a bush isn't going to dissuade me from enjoying a Pokemon journey. Um, you know, I'm glad that there's improvements to the graphics. I want to see the best graphical adventure. But I've never felt like Pokemon was about the graphics in the first place. Red and Blue captivated us at a time where things were in pixel sprites. And, uh, you know, I think that the improvements that they've made, uh, the game playing on the Switch and the graphics that they have are definitely really eye-pleasing to me. And, like I said, I'm not going to let a tree texture ruin the adventure for me. So that's just my attitude there. 
couple things here. Uh, I thought this was really interesting. Kind of picked up some steam on the internet. This post from 2014, this person said, I have a fake mon ID, uh, uh, idea, a haunted teacup that turns into a haunted teapot. Its name will be Entity and Poltygeist. Sounds good. Right, guys? R right? Well, this person predicted it back in 2014. Lucky guess, but I thought it was interesting to note that someone did predict the name of the Pokemon Poltygeist back in 2014, dude. That's pretty wild. That's actually pretty wild. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, I like this new Pokemon, by the way. Alchemy is basically Vivian uh, for Sword and Shield. Here's a post from Pokemon saying that Alchemy was found to have a variety of different fate colors and flavors, and they've been spotted around the world, and then wham, bam, the Alchemy was spotted by Poke Times. This Alchemy was spotted by the United Kingdom. This was found by Pokemon France. This one was uh, found by Pokemon Italy. This one was uh, the Dutch one. So, uh, I think it's a relatively safe assumption at this point that Alchemy is going to be similar to Vivian, where it's going to have different forms based on where you are in the world. Cool idea. Not a crazy thing at all. We saw that with Vivian. I think that's neat. It kind of encourages people to trade, collect all the Alchemy forms. It's one extra thing to do in the game that could be fun for people, and maybe you think that one Alchemy form looks better than the other. So, I thought that that was interesting and worth noting um, as well. I felt like it was just something pretty cool for Alchemy. Next thing. The Aflac leak, are you sick of hearing about it yet? I don't know, man. This is the Aflac leak that has been pro proven true time and time again. I just felt like it was worth noting that the last thing that the Aflac leak mentioned on May uh, 2019, uh, 23rd, was that the best Pokemon so far is the Blue Seagull, who when it dives, either gets a Barracuda in its mouth or Pikachu, which is launches at its enemy. So, this was predicted back on the 23rd. Um... Just crazy, just crazy stuff, man, that we've had this leak out here since May, dude, since May. We're talking legitimately like three, four, five months ago, uh, like four months ago, uh, and it predicted the Blue Seagull from way back. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to kind of see what goes down with, um, you know, with, with, with the rest of this leak because it, it, you know, calls out the, the starter evolutions, calls out the giant gorilla, calls out score bunny turning into raboot i mean it just continues to nail things over and over again some of the things that haven't been confirmed yet farfetch getting an evolution meowth getting a regional form scova and greedunt being chipmunk pokemon uh that kind of come out we haven't seen kabu yet um and i think there was one other person opal or something like that um in terms of like new characters but definitely pretty interesting stuff there that this continues to just get things right. It's just always been right. Like, it's crazy how that slipped through the cracks. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention that a lot of people have been bringing up to me is Cramorant, obviously. This new Pokemon, Cramorant. This flying water gull Pokemon. Again, mentioned in the Aflac leak. Officially been revealed. He's got this little Barracuda dude, right? Like, he's got his little friend here. Is this gonna be a Pokemon? And this is the question that I passed to you guys uh, for this video. Is, do you think that this little Barracuda is a Pokemon? Or is it simply just a little fish that Cramorant eats and that's it? It's, I don't know, man. I'm so on the fence about this. Is this a new Pokemon? Is it something else? Like, I haven't been on the fence about, like, this and, like, I don't know, dude. I'm so conflicted. I don't know, man. I really don't know. There's not really any way to, like, decipher that either. I feel like there's no, like, signs or hints. It just says that when it comes to its food, it tries to swallow anything it can. It's got the Gulp Missile, if it uses Surf or Dive, if you return a catch in its mouth, if it takes damage, it retaliates by spitting it out. Apparently, it's going to be able to capture Pikachu as well, as per kind of the, the rumor or leak that we saw from the Aflac leak. But, like, I just don't know, is this a Pokemon? And, like, if it is, I feel like it's got to be, right? Like, I don't know, I'm so torn. Is it a Pokemon? Is it just, like, a fish? Like, a default fish? I don't know. My I guess my thought is, if it was just, like, a default fish for Cramorant, why would it be so detailed? I don't know. It, it has like quite a bit of detail on it. It's obviously got this funny little eye. It's got little teeth. It's got little stripes on it. It would be so weird if it wasn't a Pokemon, right? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that because I definitely feel like that it's got to be a Pokemon, dude. It's got to be. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I definitely feel like it's a Pokemon. I definitely feel like it's got to be. I'm in love with Poltergeist, by the way. I love this new Pokemon. I think it's sick. Do you guys think that it's got an evolution? It's got a pre-evolution? I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what happens with Poltergeist. Uh, whether or not it evolves or anything like that. I think that, that could be kind of cool to see what goes down there. Um, but, dude, I just am so torn on Cramorant here. And whether or not this is a new Pokemon. I, I just It makes me want to know. 
uh, it makes me want to know if it's a new Pokemon. So, I don't know, man. That's pretty much everything for this video, guys. I wanted to cover a handful of different things. Uh, obviously, that new Nintendo Switch Lite trailer. We covered the Aflac leak. We covered Alchemy being like Vivian. Uh, I talked about the graphic improvements, which is pretty cool. Uh, a bunch of different stuff. So, hopefully, this video is awesome for you guys. Be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you again for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.